New week, new Monday, new countdown, and hopefully today, with this countdown to carry you through the rest of the week, we can help you to be inspired, because today we'll be looking at the top 10 most inspirational Transformers, as voted on by fans all across social media. That's going to be our topic this time around in the latest GotBot Counts Down. Hey one, hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gapot as always, man. Please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you're at it, light them up, baby. Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton. It lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All of that in the description below. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring. Or, of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube to become... You guessed it, a channel member. And we're going to kick things off with the honorable mentions first. There's only four this time because everything else was so low that and had kind of like equal voting that it really wasn't worth counting. But we do have four. Uh, Cup, Wheeljack, uh, Galvatron. I don't know how inspirational Galvatron is, but okay, sure. And Jazz. I don't know why Jazz... He had some leadership qualities. He was a calming influence. I don't know. But none of them made the actual list. What are we going to do? You know what we're going to do. We're going to kick things off with number 10 first. Number 10 is actually a tie. A very most unexpected tie between Soundwave and Grimlock. Um, I don't necessarily think of either of these guys immediately as the epitome of inspiration, but hear me out, or rather hear the voters out. Those who voted for Soundwave said that he was inspirational because he shows what it is to be super duper loyal. And it, there were times when he could have left his leader and he didn't. He made sure to go back for him. He made sure to take him. He made sure to save him. That sort of loyalty in and of itself is very inspirational. Equally, those who voted for Grimlock said, despite his somewhat questionable intellect and IQ, he always tries to impress. He always tries to prove himself to be part of the upper echelon, whether that's through strength and might or through charm, because it depends on the iteration of Grimlock we're talking about. I see the argument for both, and I suppose, in their own way, both are at least a little bit inspirational, and therefore had enough votes to take the number 10 slot. Number 9 was a different one that we don't usually see here on the countdown. It is G1 Silverbolt. And a lot of people said he's inspirational because he sends the message of facing your fears and overcoming them. Those of you who know, and those of you who don't know, um, Silverbolt is a character that had a fear of heights. So anybody who knows the character knows he had a fear of heights and knows that he worked hard to overcome it since he's a plane. Those of you who don't know, now you know. He had a fear of heights and he had to work hard to overcome it since he's a plane. And the leader of the aerial bots, no less. Even he said, I shouldn't be the leader and was told, yeah, you should. You're exactly who should be the leader. Um... Maybe, maybe, you know, sending the message of facing your fears, overcoming them to become better than what you were sounds inspirational to me. And he get, got enough votes and enough people thought along the same lines that he was able to take the number nine. Slot. Coming in at number eight is an Autobot who largely lived in solitude outside of time and space itself until fate called on him to fulfill his destiny. And that even resulted in him making what some would call the ultimate of sacrifices. I'm talking, of course, about Vector Prime. Not very often does Vector get a lot of love, but if you go back and you look at his story arc from the Unicron Trilogy, and we all know I'm not a fan of the Unicron Trilogy, but the one thing that they did right was to give a ton of character development to this guy and uh, really had him serve a purpose. You know, he served a purpose. He was... <sighs> It really felt like he was fulfilling his destiny. And when it came down to him having to kind of make the ultimate sacrifice, he did so with grace and bravery. And for that reason, he takes the number eight slot. And he who arrived at number seven on this list 
was a complete surprise, but I'm glad that he's here. It's Starscream. I never would have thought of Starscream as being inspirational, but those who voted for him said, yeah, he is. He sometimes is able to inspire the Seekers because he does give long, drawn-out soliloquies. Sometimes. Again, depends on the fiction. But more often than not, what a lot of people point to is the fact that, you know what, he has perseverance. He fails time and again in his goal of leading the Decepticons, but he always comes back supremely confident in his abilities. The fact that he keeps his confidence and his self-worth, the fact that he is able to, you know, fall down, stand up, and dust himself off and keep coming back for more, something to be admired, and maybe there's an argument for that. Enough people certainly thought along those lines that he was able to secure enough votes to tie himself up at the number seven slot. Leaving Starscream's supreme perseverance in the dust, we come in at number six, and number six is a tie, even though usually I kind of just put the votes for these two characters together as one character. I just thought it was interesting that this time around, both iterations of him got the exact same number of votes. I'm talking about Hot Rod or Rodimus Prime. And what a lot of people did is they kind of looked at the character development and gambit for this guy going from, you know, this young Turbo Revan Punk to being like the supreme leader of the Autobots. And, you know, having to live in the shadow of a leader that was revered before you and sometimes even being blamed for the demise of that leader. It's huge shoes to fill for someone so young. And a lot of people admired that he tried his best to live up to expectations that he never thought he could live up to. That is admirable. That is inspirational because if he can try hard to live up to higher expectations than he believes in himself, maybe everybody can. For that reason, he took the number six slot. And here we are once again at my favorite spot. You know where it is. That's right, baby. It is the halfway mark. And here at the halfway mark, we have Optimus Primal. I think he got the vote because he's an Optimus. But what a lot of people said is his way of inspiring his troops and his followers and his team is a bit different. It's a smaller team and he doesn't come across as too militaristic, and he, and he doesn't come across as too authoritative. He comes across more as uh, a friend who happens to have the answers. And it's an interesting way of looking at his authority. Now, sometimes he is quite authoritative, but more often, often than not, he tends to see his team more like his family, so to speak. And he's able to offer them a guidance and a security that a leader needs to have. And for that reason, and because enough people thought along the same lines, he got enough votes to solidify himself at the number five slot. Coming in at number four is a character who is not only wise, but his words hold such value that he's often also noted as being inspirational. I'm talking about... Alpha Trion. Now you might say, Alpha Trion, inspirational, really? Alpha Trion has inspired Optimus Prime himself often. He is Optimus Prime's go-to when he needs answers. If you are the guy who gives the answers to the guy who's supposed to have the answers, that is pretty inspirational in my books. And enough people felt the same way that he easily took the number four slot. Here we are at the top three, and coming in at number three is the leader of the Decepticons himself, Megatron. Now, a lot of people kind of voted for really different versions of Megatron. Some pointed to his comic book um, kind of iteration, where he sort of realized the error of his ways after, you know, really motivating a movement. Um, the character development there is undeniable. I mean... On the one hand, he's inspirational because he is the guy who led a movement to rise up against the injustice of the Autobots. He done that in many, many, uh, I guess, points of fiction. Animated, for example, you know, with the cry of Decepticons rise up, Transformers Prime, where he clawed his way out of the gladiatorial pits and he inspired Decepticons to follow him. Initially for fairness and then finally for conquest. But they did follow him, and they followed him everywhere, even when he treated them badly. Then, if we go to the comics, we have another layer of inspiration here, because it's not just based on his ability to inspire those uh, that follow him. But, if you look at the comics, we also see inspiration in terms of one's ability to change. You can change. If you want to change, it can be real, but you have to want it. Proven by 
him going from being the leader of the Decepticons, the mighty Megatron, to becoming an Autobot and having to prove his worth yet again. There's so many layers to Megatron and so many ways he has inspired others for right or for wrong. And enough people were able to point out enough different ways that he's inspired different characters that he had to appear on this list, as surprising as it might be to some folks. And he took the number three slot. That only leaves us with two. And at number two is a character that's very fitting that I hadn't really thought of, to be honest with you, but it makes total sense. And this character, again, has been noted as being inspirational because, on the one hand, it's a redemption story of someone who, you know, kind of struggled with being bad, but was trying to be good, trying to be right, trying to be honorable. And then some people that voted for this guy said he's inspirational because he kind of single-handedly saved humanity. How are you not inspired by that level of heroics? Of course, I'm talking about none other than Beast Wars Dinobot. I mean, the guy starts out as a Predacon and he kind of redeems himself to the point that he saves the human species. Um, yeah, you know what? The whole story arc for this guy, much like with... Megatron is something that a lot of fans, viewers, readers, wherever it is you get your fiction from, can latch onto and see that, you know what, this guy wanted to change. He fought hard to do it. He fought to prove himself. And in the end, he died a hero. That's a big change from a guy who started out as a Predacon and thought that that was all he could ever be. For the re that reason, for that redemption, he easily takes the number two slot. And that only leaves us with the top number one. And I think we all knew that number one was a bit of a foregone conclusion and anticlimactic, but it's the most logical answer to inspirational Transformer. Naturally, number one is Optimus Prime himself. Not only has he had speech upon speech upon speech that's inspirational, not only has he led the, the Autobots through countless, countless threats and battles, but even in the movie, I think that the exchange between Crosshairs and Drift in Age of Extinction says it best. When Crosshairs says, oh, you just want to die for the guy. And he says something like, you know, it, that's leadership or brainwashing or something. And Drift replies with, no, that's Optimus Prime. That says it all right there. He's been a father figure to generations. He's been um, a leader to hundreds. How could Optimus Prime not top? this list. And there we have it once again, 10 down to 1. Yeah, I think that all of that kind of panned out made sense, especially the top 3 or 4. I totally, totally get it. Other characters that did get some votes, Alita 1 got some votes, Movie Drift got some votes, Acid Storm got a vote, uh, Warpath, Bumblebee, Wheelie got a vote. Maximal 10. Uh, Tigatron got some votes. I could see that one for sure. Um, Nemesis Prime got a vote from Input. I don't understand how he's inspirational, but okay, sure, why not? Omega Supreme did. Galvatron did. Uh, I, though I, I think I already mentioned Galvatron uh, in the honorable mentions, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, who else here? Springer did. Cyclonus did because of his loyalty, much along the lines of Soundwave. And... Just for good measure, Scrounge did. How often does Scrounge get a mention in any of these? I appreciate you guys coming by. Let me know if your favorite made the list or not, or who you deem the most inspirational. I am so glad that you came by, gave me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring, or of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube to become a channel member while you're at it. Hit the subscribe button, stick around, have some fun with us, and don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single day, every single day, you do make a difference. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way, baby, right here inside the videos. <laughs>